do 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 MLM is sort of like uh, a a micro mm, um, what's the word I'm looking for a micro ecosystem uh, a micro example of um, a not a whole but a, not a small part of the capitalist mode of production, the capitalist sort of uh, structure or, or, or power dynamic, or rather, I would say stress dynamic, okay? So you have people going into debt to buy this product, and then they get more people under them who go into debt to get this product. And it's a lot of people putting in a lot of time and work and personal money for little often usually no and very often negative profit okay they're doing this stuff because they want some security which they cannot get from this country and and uh, in the way it is right now um and and this is not even to speak on like the weird fucking christian conservative culture that revolves around this company and everything, but simply the power dynamic of someone desperate. They're doing something they are not competent in yet. Maybe. Um, they're desperate. They're stressed out because they've got someone above them, the person who recruited them and trained them, uh, an, an, who, who happens to be another individual seller, who also happens to be under a lot of pressure. So that person's putting a lot of pressure on the person below them. And that person is calling into customer service to tell customer service what a disrespectful, stupid fucking waste of human flesh they are. And now I don't think Personally, I don't believe that there are very many actually bad people in the world. I do think there are bad people, but I think most people are not necessarily bad people. But that is not to say that um, there can be people who do bad things. Just because you may do something that's bad, it doesn't mean you are bad. Um, I think a lot of people do things, especially when it comes to real negative ang aggro kind of stuff, they don't really understand. They're not really aware of why they're behaving, much less are they aware of how they are behaving. There's a lot of very self-unaware people in the United States, very self-unaware. Um, they're under a lot of pressure and the pressure is fucking real. It's their well-being. It's their safety. It's their shelter. How are they going to eat? I mean, fuck, the documentary covered this one woman that was making six figures like a month and she couldn't fucking feed like uh, her, her husband left her because um, she was certainly working more than full time. And the, the line that the company sells you is part time work, full time pay. Um, she was working certainly more than full time husband left and then she couldn't even, e even, even with the husband, like they couldn't feed the kids anything more than cereal for dinner half of the nights uh, in every, every week. Um, so the pressure is real on, on, on an individual basis. And then for all these people and they're putting pressure on the people below them because the people below them, the people that you may have recruited, helps you with your bottom line. Uh, and it's just sort of like a, a turtles all the way down situation of people putting pressure on other people because everyone is fucking desperate. Except for the family at the top, the Stidhams, who are flying around on jets and just living life and ever telling everyone how to live their lives in really fucking weird ways. Um, you know, I, I think that's all I really have to say about that. I think that's why these people flip out. It's not that they're necessarily bad people. It's not like they necessarily want 
to treat a stranger online like absolute shit. It's that they don't even fucking realize the way they're acting. They have no idea how they're acting. Because someone else is probably treating them the same way. I, I learned about this a lot. I mean, I'd known about it, but the first like really palpable experience that stuck with me was working at Starbucks on holidays, particularly Christmas. People fucking can't stand to be around their family because their family is stressful. And so they can't take, they're frustrated. They've got all this negative energy and they can't, they don't want to take it out on the family. So they take it out on little James Asher working at the fucking counter, trying to ring up your stupid, over roasted, burnt bullshit coffee. People take, hurt people hurt people, is what I'm trying to say.